Hi guys, and you Layla. I know you're probably going hi guys to your mum and dad again. Right, I'm back. And yesterday we went to a show, uh, the Birmingham Entomological Show, which was based at Edgebaston Cricket Ground. First time we've been and in all fairness it didn't disappoint it wasn't as busy as the others that i've attended but i went around on my electric chair no problem at all and i only run into one guy and that's because he walked in front of me so that one my fault theoretically uh, i met some amazing people there as as usual Obviously Francis Tustin, Mr. Sidex himself and uh, Life of Ebbs, his partner Ebony. Uh, on the car park, as we got out of the car I bumped into Mr. Inverter Ben and Amy and Little Ivy. And she was uh, shouting to her mum and dad, Peter, so she remembers me. Uh, who else did we see? Let me get it so Obviously, Jennifer's Tarantulas, first person that we bumped into in the actual hall. Um, JP's Pet Nation, he came to us on the car park. Who? Okay. Oh, yeah. Blimey, I'm forgetting the way something to remind me, yeah. Mr. Spider Man himself, Alan Hicken. Always good to bump into Alan. And inside the show, the first time I met um, Mr. Oddball Invert himself. He came to say hello and had a photo and added me on as a thumbnail to his video for his show. Um, I met Amy of Am's friend. Hang, hang on, Ams Freeman's Pet Mania. That's right, I've got it right now. Um, I also bumped into a young lady by the name of Layla. Uh, you might remember in a few videos ago I asked you guys to say hello to Layla. Um, apparently, she likes taking the mic every time it hears me saying, Hey guys. She, she's got it down to a T, but she went a bit shy yesterday seeing me, bless her. But it was lovely to bump into her and her mum and dad. Um, let me think of anyone else that I might have missed. Uh, la, 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 la. I think that was about it, wasn't it? I didn't get to, to meet Mr. Rob. Oh God, I'm, I'm having a brain fart here. Robert Giles, that's it. He was working with JP on his table and he was busy all day and I couldn't get nowhere near JP's table. Everything else I got to okay, but JP, well he's a star in he? so everybody migrated to JP. Um, I think that was about it. Um, let me just have a quick flip back now so I actually met. Yeah, I think that was it, wasn't it? More or less. Yeah, and everyone was great at the show. They was all waving me on like I was in a pile of traffic to come through. That was nice to see. So, anyway, enough waffling on. Let's get through to the pickups. Right, first off, the non invert pickups. A couple of uh, mesh enclosures. A large one for an order that I've got coming hopefully tomorrow from the spider shop. And a smallish one for my two. Here we go again. My two little green guys that I showed you the other day. I, I just can't think of anything. Um, ba, 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 ba. Katie did my giant Florida Katie did. God almighty, silly guys, I'm, 
I'm having one major brain fart. Right, that's the non-invert stuff. I didn't buy anything else that wasn't uh, live. Right, first one, we have the Creabota, hang on, yeah, the Creabota Elongata, which is the Indian praying mantis. Lovely little guy sitting down there. That's the first one. Second one is the Hyrodula species Blue Mantis. There, upside down as usual they are. The third one. Uh, now what was this one? A pea pin. Peacock. Peacock. Yes. A peacock mantis. Now I've not had much luck with these but I said to the wife let's try again see if we can get one to live long enough to see it mature. Looks like they've thrown three eggs in there as well. So we've got three eggs in there. That's three mantis. Uh, the fourth one. This is a giant green African mantis. I'll turn the pot up that way so you can see her. And this one actually molted out this morning. Wrong way buddy, the top's there. There he is, lovely mantis. So that's four mantis. And number five mantis is the Malaysian blue mantis. Nice size. So that's five mantids. Uh, my daughter's handing me this over as well. Uh, she she got me to buy a uh, dead butterfly. It's like iridescent purple and blue. It's pretty, but uh, stick it back in the box. Not my cup of tea. I like things alive. Right now we're going to the the spiders. Smallest first. In here we have a sling, which th this is a freebie off one of the sellers. I'm not 100% sure who he was. Sorry if I've, uh, I forgot, I just can't remember. And it's a Brachialba, true form, Nicaraguan. So that's that one. This one was a replacement because mine passed away, which is the Linotheli Phallax, the Bolivia and he's hiding away as well and I'm damned if I'm going to open the lid because I've had one of these run round already and they're like lightning fast you might just see the, a bit of his legs down there so there's my new phallax obviously got to be rehoused at some point but it's got a nice webbing system going on there um, the next one this is an harmonicon Oipo Kiei Oipo Kiei Brazil and you'll see that one there is at the front of the tub this is fast as that, that comes supplied in this tub which is nice next one you guys know what I am with centipedes. I absolutely love them. And this is an Ainan Island centipede, also known as the Scolopendra hynanum, which is the tiger leg centipede. And he's just down the front of the tub there, waiting to say hello. There's another centipede in the collection. Right, next one. I've never seen this one before. And this is Nafana Palma Aberrans. Or Aberrans, the Casablanca chestnut. Four inches leg span. And there it is there. Lovely looking spider. I do like a Fauna Palma. 
I've what? got the Carl Cowdies and uh, a couple of the other ones. Um, next up, we have a Brachypelma albiceps, which is a Mexican gold red rub. Now, I've got one of these, but it's only a sling. So I wanted something a little bit bigger because my slings just don't live long in this area. Like I just can't keep them alive. And the seller was nice enough to give us all, well, both three actually. Uh, one for my grandson and my two. Uh, he gave us three little water bowls, little wood pattern water bowls. And finally, Again, I have one of these, which is a tiny little sling, and I love these. This is the Brachypelma Baumi, Bohemi, Bimi, whatever you want to call it, I'll say Baumi. And this is off the same seller I had the Albiceps, and there it is, lovely looking guy. So, there we have it, guys. Quite a nice little haul, really. I oh, wasn't in there, oh, hour and a half was he? Hour and a half, yeah. And it's the first show that I've actually been to where I didn't sweat like a pig. My back never hurt me once, apart from when we was loud in the chair back into the car. So it was a good day all round. Met, met some of you lovely guys again and some new ones. Um, I did take footage now I bought myself a new Insta 360 One X a 360 degree action camera which you may have seen that I've strapped to the back of my chair and uh, Mr. Tustin Mr. Sidex himself noticed I got that camera on the chair and he said you got a 360 camera he said so you'll see me run all the way around then won't you so what does Francis do? He runs all the way around. But I haven't managed to check the footage on that yet, so I'm doing it a bit arse about face at the moment. I'm showing you what I've bought before I'm showing you the, the footage of the show. But if it works out well, if I can get it all uploaded to YouTube properly, you'll be able to put your mouse on the, the video and move the mouse around to move the pictures to look up, down, left, right and see if you can look for people or look at animals on the tables or anything along them lines. I don't think I've seen um, any inverse shows done in 360 on YouTube so this might be a first if I can get it working. So for now guys I'm getting really hot in here I'm going back into my living room, do a bit more uh, inverse searching. I have an order coming tomorrow. Uh, I'll actually, I might have three orders coming tomorrow. One delivery from a friend. Uh, two. One delivery from Gary McGowan. A lot of you might know Gary. He's, uh, He's a really nice bloke. Uh, I believe he's one of Alan Nickin's friends as well. And I'm hoping my spider shop order will be here tomorrow as well. So plenty to look out for in the next video guys. I've still got to do the the reagents of the three communals, the two pokies and the the Balfour communals. But they'll they will be coming guys. I've just got to stop buying new animals long enough to get get onto them. So, for now, that's me done, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with all your friends. I'm 146 away from a thousand. Be lovely to get that, and then I can do a nice big giveaway again. So, for me, Peter Webster. Love all you guys. You, you mean everything, you're the world, you're, you're the dog's kahunas, whatever you want to call it. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.